I'm Mark Cavanaugh for Cavi Coaches, and today I'm going to coach you up on wrapping up the modified Atwood Machine Lab. So you've found the acceleration and mass or the weight and acceleration from your data. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graphs. So when you graphed acceleration, you had to make sure that you converted your times into acceleration by doing two times the distance, which was about 0.91 meters, and dividing that by the time squared. So when you do that, you find that acceleration and mass, the shape of the graph looks like this. And the shape of the graph for weight versus acceleration was a direct relationship. So what we do is we go to our graphical method summary sheet, and you can see the graphical method summary sheet. We've got a graph that looks like this and a graph that looks like that. So we can see that the graphs that we're using, the written relationship box we have here, we can see that this is the generic statement, and what we want is the proportion statement. So we're going to change x to um, acceleration and y to weight because that was the graph that we had here. And for this graph, we can see that as x increases, y decreases. So as mass increased, acceleration decreased. And this one shows that we have a straight line graph, so we don't have to do any modifications to create a straight line graph. But this graph here, we have to graph y versus 1 over x, which means we have to produce a straight line graph. So let's go ahead and do that for the graph that is not linear. So for the graph that's not linear, we have, we're going to graph acceleration. And it tells us that we need to do the inverse of our mass. So we're going to do inverse mass, which gives us units of inverse kilograms. And that is going to produce a straight line graph. So now we're set up to look at the relationships. So we can see that since this is a straight line graph from the graphical method summary sheet, it tells us we start with the slope intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b. So we're going to go ahead and do that, right? y equals mx plus b. And we're from that, we're going to find, we're going to replace y with what we've graphed here. So we're going to replace that with the force of gravity on the hanging weight, the slope, the slope value, if you change the hanging weight, you should have gotten a slope around 1.05. And that unit is going to be newtons over meters per second squared for now. X becomes acceleration. And the y-intercept is pretty much zero because if you don't have a weight hanging off the end, there's not going to be an acceleration. So there's our mathematical model for the weight versus acceleration. So what about the acceleration versus 1 over mass? So when we go back to our graphical method summary sheet, we can see that the equation we're going to use is y equals m1 over x plus b because we graphed 1 over mass to get our straight line graph. So we're going to start with y equals m times 1 over x plus b. And we can see that A is replacing Y. M, the slope, you should have gotten something close to 0 0.49. And that unit is going to be meters per second squared over 1 over kilograms. So we're going to flip this and multiply. So we're going to get kilogram meter per second squared. And that takes care of our slope. 1 over x becomes 1 over m. And if we don't have a mass, there's nothing to accelerate, so that our vertical intercept for that case should be 0. So the slope meanings, when we look at the slope over here, we can see kilogram meter per second squared. Well, we've recognized that. We've seen that before. That's a newton. So this slope simplifies all the way down to newtons. And what was our controlled value? 
that was measured in Newtons for this experiment? Well, that was the weight of the hanger. And the weight of the hanger, we know, was 0.49 Newtons. So our slope here is the weight of the hanger. The weight of the hanger was the net force on our system. So what that means is that for this, the acceleration is equal to the net force times one over mass. Now, if we come over to our other example here, we've got the gravitational force is equal to 1.05 newtons per meter per second squared times acceleration. So let's look at the units on the slope and see how the units work out. So we know that in newton, one newton is equal to kilogram meter per second squared, which is what we just substituted back over here for that unit became a newton. So if we substitute that in right here, we get kilogram meter per second squared over meter per second squared. Well, the units are gonna all cancel out and simplify to kilograms. So what this means is that the force of gravity is equal to 1.05 kilograms times acceleration. Well, what was measured in kilograms? Our control. The, the mass of the system, the mass of the system was the mass of the car, which was one kilogram plus the hanging weight, which was 0 0.05, and our system mass was 1.05 kilograms. So the force of gravity represents our net force, and that equals mass times acceleration. And if we rearrange this equation here, we get the same exact equation that acceleration times mass is equal to the net force. And this is Newton's second law. More commonly written, net force, this symbol, the Greek letter sigma, is the sum of forces is equal to the mass times acceleration. Which means when an object is accelerating, we write a Newton's second law equation, we set those forces added together equal to M times A. So this is the wrapping up of the lab. Our slopes, again, represent the value of our control for each of the lab investigations. Changing weight in acceleration gave us a slope that was the system mass of 1.05 kilograms. And changing the mass and measuring the acceleration the slope gave us the weight of the hanger, which was the net force that was causing the entire system to accelerate. So I hope you have a great day and an even better tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel, Cavi Coaches, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Cavi Coaches.